The other ones are great, but right now, this is my favorite mouthpiece. Hey there, Jay Metcalf here. Time for another mouthpiece video. I get asked every single day about mouthpieces, which is the best mouthpiece, which mouthpiece should I buy, which mouthpiece will give me a more jazzy sound. The list goes on and on. Now, I respond to people, but I never tell anyone, get this or get that. I just kind of give suggestions. The reason is that the best mouthpiece for me is not necessarily going to be the best mouthpiece for you by any means. Your mouthpiece preference is going to be as individual as you are as an individual. That's kind of why there are so many different mouthpieces to choose from and each one has its own set of variations. In today's video, I want to talk about four great mouthpieces that I think are worth checking out if you're looking to upgrade to a more professional mouthpiece. The mouthpieces I'm gonna play for you today are on the expensive end of the spectrum. A while back I did a video called Best Alto Sax Mouthpieces Under $150. These mouthpieces are all more than $150. So anytime you're gonna spend that much money, you definitely wanna be able to try out the mouthpiece first for at least a few days to know if it's worth the investment. Make sure you ask about the return and trial policy before you make a purchase. I've pretty much always played on Meyer style mouthpieces for alto sax. And each one of these mouthpieces is inspired by the classic New York Meyer mouthpieces. They're all similar in many ways, but each one has its own identity. I would characterize each one of them as a good all around mouthpiece that can be used in lots of different musical situations. I've put links in the description below to where you can purchase or just learn more about each one of these pieces. Please listen carefully and let me know in the comments section below your thoughts, especially if you've already got one of these and are playing on it. First, we're gonna check out this 100 year anniversary New York Meyer alto mouthpiece by the JJ Babbitt company. JJ Babbitt is the company who makes all of the new Meyers and the Auto Links, among other mouthpieces. This one I've been playing since I got my hands on it back in February. It's brand new. Uh, I, I love this mouthpiece. And one of the reasons I haven't done a video about it up until now is because it's been incredibly hard to get. Uh, it's a little bit easier to get your hands on one now, but they're still in short supply. Despite a lot of the Babbitt mouthpieces kind of having wonky tables and facings that aren't perfectly even, this one came to me uh, in great condition. The table and everything is very even and it plays incredibly right out of the box. It does come with a ligature that's in the old style Meyer traditional ligature. I don't use that because I don't love it so much. I'm using this BG Duo ligature because it holds the read on really securely and this mouthpiece has a slightly tighter fit than some of my other alto mouthpieces. So, great mouthpiece. Uh, it's got a nice dark uh, side to it, but it's also can be really bright and powerful. And you can play in all the dynamic ranges easily. All right, next up is this Theo Wane Gaia 2 alto mouthpiece in a six tip opening. This is the most expensive mouthpiece in the bunch. It sells for $525. It does come with this great 
Theowani Enlightened Ligature, which I'll be using for the play test. If you do want to pick up one of these or any of the other mouthpieces on the Theowani website, you can get a 10% discount as a Better Sax subscriber. Use the coupon code BETTERSAX10 uh, when you check out and they'll take off 10%, which on mouthpieces this expensive, every little bit helps, right? But man, it really plays, it really plays great. Okay, so that's the Theo Wane Gaia 2 Hard Rubber 6 alto mouthpiece. All right, next up, we've got this mouthpiece by Aaron Drake, Drake Mouthpieces. This is their New York Jazz alto mouthpiece. It's a six tip opening. And as the name implies, it's clearly referencing the classic New York Meyer mouthpieces that classic jazz sound. All of the Drake mouthpieces come with these custom resin ligatures that work really well, uh, so I'll be using that. You'll hear this mouthpiece has, uh, for me at least, a it's a bit darker in sound, so if you want something that's not as uh, piercingly um, bright, this is on the darker end of the spectrum. <laughs> Now there's actually another version of this mouthpiece and it's uh, the same thing except the chamber has a ceramic interior and that's supposed to change the sound somewhat. So I'm gonna switch over to that one so you can hear. It's worth mentioning that the Drake New York Jazz piece does have a looser fit on the cork. So let me know in the comments uh, which one of the Drake mouthpieces you prefer with the ceramic insert in the chamber or without. Lastly, I'm gonna play for you the newest mouthpiece in my collection. This is by Phil Engelman. It's a Phil Tone Rift number seven. I thought it was a six, but he actually sent me a seven uh, because he says the seven plays like a six. And I guess it does, because I didn't realize it was a seven. I'm using this Yanni Sixes ligature, which works fantastic on it. Uh, Phil's mouthpieces don't come with ligatures, so this is a great opportunity to show off this beautiful ligature. <laughs> All 
Wow, so I'm kind of blown away by how great that mouthpiece is. This is the winner for me. This is the one I've been playing on since I first tried it. The other ones are great, but right now, October 2019, this is my favorite mouthpiece. I wanted to let you know that some of the mouthpieces I played for you today were sent to me to try out and then keep. Uh, but other than that, this video is not sponsored. Thanks to Rocky over at JJ Babbitt, Theo Wane, Aaron Drake, and Phil Engelman for the great mouthpieces. The hardest part now is choosing which one to play on. Please let me know in the comments section below your thoughts. Which one of these mouthpieces did you think sounded the best? Uh, which one of these would you most like to try out? If you've already got one of these, let us know your experience with it. Be sure to click the thumbs up button before you go and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Follow Better Sax on Instagram and Facebook where I'm sharing tons of bonus content. Thanks for watching and see you again very soon in another Better Sax video.